everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello, everyone. We have an update on what's happening with Fillion. Jinjo, the, the main one that is uh, for the Rindo design that Fillion has been using, that basically what has become a lot of people think is an asset flip at this point. Let's just take a look at what she has to say. Hello, this is Jinjo, or Jingo. Please forgive the delay in my response as I've returned home early this morning. I have received all the replies from the concerned VTuber and Good Smile Company, and we will proceed in a direction that maximally guarantees my rights. My position is to have a smooth negotiation through open communication, and I absolutely respect this person for doing that. They could have gone and been aggressive and been bad, but no, they decided to be, you know, work best for everybody, didn't want to be in any way vindictive, just working good. The models I create are products that anyone can use if purchased on Booth. They're primarily designed as avatars for VRChat. According to the terms of use, avatars may also be used outside of VRChat, provided they are not accessible by third parties other than the purchaser. Individual VTuber activities such as video and streaming are also allowed. However, just because a model is purchased on Booth does not mean that the purchaser holds all the rights, as they are essentially borrowing the model. Therefore, if revenue is generated through general VTuber activities such as video or streaming, I ask for credit attribution, which, they, which as far as we know, Fillion did not do. For activities with significant commercial potential beyond general VTuber activities, such as character merchandise production, prior notification is required as per terms of use. We provide guidance on credit attribution after review. Generally, this is not an issue since individual VTubers often proceed with production and sales directly without involving companies. However, if a VTuber is affiliated with an office, company, or corporation, we require accurate information and advance notice, even if the usage is not commercial. That makes sense because you want to see, you want to make sure everything is, is going on your terms of use. That's why you have terms of service. That's why you have terms of use as small creators. The issue I raise is that the VTuber in question did not own the copyrights to the character yet, and yet proceeded with a project involving a company without the report to the original creator which is a problem. Therefore, I have requested that production schedule for this character merchandise project be suspended. And I think that's why Good Smile Company got rid of the post and the tweet because everything was suspended. I do not seek royalties or incentives. I only wish to protect the character's copyright. Allowing such projects like selling copyright licenses would result in each character derived from my models having their own copyrights, potentially leading to complex copyright disputes among users of the same model. Very smart. She's just saying, don't make anything, any merchandise stuff of my of my models. Just don't do that. As the model mama, she has the right to do that. That's why no more Nendoroid. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the previous stuff. I guess she's just going to let it be. This is something that Fillion should have absolutely, as a bigger creator, should have looked into. And like I said, it's ignorance on her part. But at this point, she's big enough that hopefully she would have had somebody that was adequate in this whole thing. Like I, if I get ever get that big, that big, I now know that I should definitely have someone I can trust. She probably did think she had people she could trust, but obviously the people she had around her did not do things properly. I want to emphasize that my booth characters are shared models, not exclusive to one person. Since these are not completely original designs, no matter how much they are modified, traces of the original creator remain. And thus I cannot relinquish the copyright. Please note that the terms of use differ for each creator and model. So verify them before using a model. Thank you for your continued support. Again, the artist should get some compensation. Honestly, they should, especially for things that have been previously done. For all the other things for being in the game, in that game that she was in, the racing game, for the gamers, GG cups, for the, uh, you know, all those things that she has done before, the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars she has gotten before, she should get compensation for it. It is not fair to the creator and it's going to piss off people who like Fidian. But it is not fair to the original creator for her to have worked so hard for it and then someone just takes money for it you know even if it was done like i said with ignorance still legally she could get sued for this as far as i know absolutely and it's frankly shocking they aren't asking as it'd be justified billion really better count herself lucky as this easily could have ended with her being on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars and even more if the fact that she claimed she didn't pay for it was proven true exactly because you get punitive damages so you get regular damages 
as far as I know, again, I'm not a lawyer, you get regular damages, which is, you know, the, the amount of royalties owed, and then you get punitive damages, which is basically punishing you for not being in the correct uh, no of this whole situation, and also seemingly maliciously doing it, even though it wasn't malicious, it doesn't matter, the court will see it as continued, you know, mis misuse of the copyright, continued misuse of everything, so they may put punitive damages, which can sometimes double or triple the amount that you owe. Here we have a good message from someone like Maria Marionette about supporting your Oshi. This is someone who is probably also going through a lot of stuff because of all the hate that Nidhi Sanji is getting from me and from others, but let's hear her words on this whole situation. Being like, oh my gosh, they deserve so much better. It's like... Everybody deserves to be to have like a lot of like what's it called? Everybody deserves to have a lot of support. There's not like one person that just deserves to not have any support at all. True. Um Yes, everybody deserves support. If you think someone deserves better, you can be the thing person to help that. You know what I mean? Like if you have say like a like a Oshi or something like that. And you feel like, oh, they're not being seen as much. Maybe, you know, like share them out around a little bit. Comments, exactly, share stuff. around. Even if it's just one person, you it might helps think, a like, lot. Oh, if it's just me, I can't do anything anyway. It helps like, a lot. Even if it's just, if it's, even if I do it, nothing's going to change. No. Because even one person is going to make it, like, um, what's it called? I can't really speak English properly today, so ignore my, like, weird wording. But, like, um, yeah, even one extra comment each time is nice. So, so, yeah. Like, just think you can be the one to spread the word. Instead of, and, and listen to this, instead of being like, oh, my Oshi deserves so much better because because of this, this, and this. Instead of saying that, imagine if you said something like, my Oshi did something that was so cool. Look at this, guys. Isn't this, isn't true. what she did so cool? True. Or isn't what he did so cool? Any of those, right? If you do that, if you do that instead, I feel like more people would want to actually come by and, like, check it out. You know what I mean? More people would be more interested in checking it out and compared to if you go like, Oh, they deserve so much better. I wish more people looked at them. You know, there's the two different um different ways to do it. Okay, with that. I definitely agree. I definitely agree. This is a Nidhi Sanji a clipper, but still, it makes perfect sense. And also, don't be the one that's like, Oh, you deserve better than this sinking yacht. Oh, you deserve better than this. I keep saying it every single time i sound like a broken record but don't be that kind of harassing person either because it doesn't make them feel good it doesn't help them you are not helping them out by saying you should leave by saying you should leave the sinking yacht you're not helping them out you're actually making them feel worse she has a new outfit debut on the 12th their second this year what fans are saying right now livers are good but company sucks what she asked them to do instead they're new people. I can see people seeing it this way, but honestly, what she's trying to say is just bring positivity. Don't bring negativity, especially people like her, people like uh, Rosamie, Scarla, et cetera, that aren't doing really horrible things. Not necessarily bring them to Nidhi Sanji because no one needs to be supporting more Nidhi Sanji stuff, to be honest with you, but don't bring them hate. That's what I'm saying. We are talking about the black stream members right now, uh, the TLDR. Ike and Vox have a history of going after females, which is notable in Ike's case because he went after the woman he knew even though other women and a man were more involved. Former colleagues, among other things. Black stream members have all have health issues that can be used to dis discredit them. So it's unfair that only that Doki is being targeted for hers. Uh, they find and follow their Oshi's PL. Don't harass. Basically, find and follow your Oshi's PL and don't harass anyone. Mentioned here, of course. Common pattern, true loyalty to Cash, slandering previous female collab members. Former YouTube collab partner accused him of slandering her on Discord. To fans, many of whom are minors. Very Colleen Ballinger. Basically, this is what it's being accused of. Uh, creating Discord where he would S-talk her to anyone that would listen. Everyone, uh, everything Ike accuses his ex of doing. And then some, there are plenty of allegations of, you know, other things happening there, of course. His former channel co-worker said that he told her he was only doing the content for money. He has, in the past, admitted that his dad didn't approve of boyfriend experience ASMR till he saw the money. It appears his true loyalty is the cash and nothing else. According to this person here, uh, Alex's alleged involvement with, with fans, including minors, is alleged. It's all alleged. Um, it's unproven. It's all just, you know, allegations. Common pattern for Ike. Hypocrisy, slandering female collab partners, possibly reacting badly and relying on clout, incomplete information when there's a possibility that negative things about him will come out. There's uh, no collected info to archive, so I'll make a list. Uh, recent allegations was a fan of his, an ex 
supposedly, but it's a fan, that uh, male Navy Sanji English member, someone mentioned he named I- Ike as her abuser. Between three main statements and the screenshots of 2014, plus recent allegations, Ike is the kind of person to preemptively attack a perceived threat. A lot of people do that. I try not to, but a lot of people do that. Past waited five years, state of limita- statute of limitations for S crimes in coercion in Sweden. Uh, then he accuses X of stuff. What caused it? She was encouraging other girls who felt victimized by him to step forward. In his drive, there's a girl saying he sent creepy messages. In the past, he attacked his ex and is now going after Doki. This is all accusations, of course. Really long statement on him. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of it because that can be something that, you know, there's too many allegations in here. I do not want to spread too many allegations. Just kind of giving you an idea of the what is thought of being their personalities. Three different people have come forward and accused Evelyn, Ike Evelyn, of R and or S misconduct, one under his PL, two under Nidhi Sanji. Of all the livers Nidhi Sanji, Ike Evelyn has the most serious allegations against him by a mile. Uh, there's no contest, and even compared to Vox or Luca, he has a lot of bad stuff against him. So happy to see someone else in the sub talking about it, feel like it's in a very similar spot to Luca, where his wrongdoings are a hundred times worse than anyone else's, but somehow his name get, never gets brought up. So it's good to bring these things up. Good to bring them to light. At least in my opinion. This is not good. This is not funny. This is not anything that a professional VTuber or a VTuber that works for a large corporation should ever do. Even small VTubers, I would criticize them for doing this type of stuff. You don't make these jokes. Basically, just curious how some people's takes on this tweet. Vantrico recently posted maybe just a bit more morally sensitive to these types of jokes. But it doesn't seem... Doesn't it seem weird the joke about being absent from tweeting by pretending you've actually passed away and saying a relative was breaking the news to your fans? I don't know the context of the tweet. I assume maybe it was during watching the Summer Jam stuff, but like, I don't know. I don't th- I don't think these jokes are funny. They're not. They're not. The, the, it's, it's, it's not funny. It says, hello, this is a distant relative of Vanta's. Vanta's passed away. His final words were, sorry, I stopped live tweeting. I died. Also tell the boys thanks for existing. That is just not good. There's no desperate situation. Only desperate people. Don't make death jokes challenge. Apparently impossible for Niji Yen. Well, if he wants to make Hex posting as Hex, he will be treated like Hex. This is the type of jokes that Hex made, makes. And that's the ones that I criticize him heavily for, for making these types of jokes. You don't go and do that. It's not funny to very many people unless it's like, I guess you could say it on uh, on a stream as kind of, you know, saying it that way. But still, it's in poor taste for most people. It will probably only be accepted within your group and everyone else will see you as just the weird dude who posted that way. Some people think that Twitter is a chat room with friends and while in reality, it's shouting in the middle of a public space. Exactly. Moral doesn't pay bills. Or morals don't pay bills, of course. Definitely needs all the money he can grab. It's his choice to even bargain his dignity. A nothing burger of a tweet, if you ask me. Still, not good, and that's why I bring it out there. It may be nothing burger because he didn't actually do anything like horribly morally reprehensible. Still, this is not fun to do. Nina Kosaka was one of the people that I watched on occasion when they were around, and they have graduated a year ago, of course. Now they are a certain roach mom out there. Of course, do not get them confused. The roach mom is the roach mom. Nina Kosaka is Nina Kosaka. Do not confuse them. Do not mix their names in their streams. It's disrespectful to the current streamer. She does seem happier now. It is sad that it happened. Just want to remind you guys that yes, she did graduate. She's doing very well right now. So upset that I wasn't there for her when she was Nina. Her design, quite literally motherly personality. She did have a motherly personality. She was, she was the fox mom. Now she's the roach mom. She was the fox mom. Saw a clip. She began to cry and stall at the end. So sad hearing her ask, is this the end? Over and over. It was so sad to hear. And I'm glad she's back in a much better work environment. Yes, it was very sad for her. It seemed like she really didn't want to go but there were things that she just couldn't uh, work with while being inside of Niji Sanji. And now she's in a much better place. She seems much happier now. Though I will say, and I don't mean it to sound rude, kind of prefer this over the new one she has. Just prefer one over the other. When you get used to a certain form, of course, it makes sense you prefer it. Just like some people get used to subtitles over um, dubs. Some people prefer the, you know, the dubbed English dubs on Japanese anime. Some people prefer the original voice actor. It really is depends on what you have gotten used to to start off with, what you were introduced to. People who are introduced to Nina as Nina and not as the Roach Mom that she is today will prefer her as Nina Kosaka. Some people will be like, all right, you know, I just want to follow the person that had the voice, but others will prefer who they'll prefer. And that is valid. And of course, do not attack anyone who does. Classic waste of a great avatar. Nina form suited her so incredibly well. And I agree. It's better than the cockroach, which I, which is quite good though. Yeah, the roach mom is still pretty good. 
That ending is the reason why I believe Niji made sure that their livers believe that they're worthless without them. If multiple of the graduated people believe that nobody would come and watch them stream ever again, then something is just wrong. Yeah, that kind of culture is wrong. That's why I like pointing it out. And I like basically pointing out evil whenever I can. Here we have JP Bros, because this was originally in Japanese, uh, making fun of an empty Niji Sanji booth at Anime Expo. I had this translated for you guys from Google Translate, as you can see at the top of the screen. I had it translated because I don't know Japanese. I can't read it for you. I heard that Hololive is popular all over the world, but it doesn't seem to be getting any attention at all. Looks like a To Yokame. The original is uh, should have the actual. Um, there we go. Right over here. They're making fun of the the, the uh, Hololive booth. And over here you have spoiler Toyoko Mae. It's not that neat. It's calm space. Oh my goodness. Vanity Sanji only sold 300 tickets. Yeah, so some people did make fun of it a little bit. Moving on even further down here, uh, it feels like a typical fake Niji Sanji bashing thread. Yes, they were just casual fan and no one even came to their booth. This is after all the programs were finished and the con was over for the day. Fans are still hanging out and chatting at a Hololive's booth while Niji Sanji was a ghost town. Curious passerbys might pop in occasionally to take a peek at the booth, but most would just leave quickly. Probably because Niji Sanji's space was closed, they didn't want to show off that their booth was empty. But oh well. At the very least, you could trim the screen to show that it's clearly a free moment. Wouldn't it be better to stop making these hollow obsessed threads feel like a typical fake Niji Sanji bashing thread? Uh, long after the programming had finished, people are, you know, saying that whole empty booth thing here. It was long after things were finished because as we know, I showed it as well. You see that there's not much of anybody around there. Usually this area would be super, super packed. Even if, like, let's say this was empty, it would be super, super packed around and it's not very packed around there. So yeah. It's basically Niji Sisters trying to get a little bit of a one up on Niji San on Hollow Life, but of course Niji Sanji gets uh, thrown in under the bus as well. Things are getting spicy now. I wonder how long till NDF gets notified of this and share their thoughts on the matter. Considering some of NDF Niji Sisters lurk here gives a couple of hours. Like this comment which says it's been less than six months since you stopped working as Selene and you're still very active. That's because she was supposed she was suppressed during her EN days. Exactly. She was very much suppressed during her EN days. We all know that now. Please think about it calmly. A company that has driven foreign celebrity to attempt blank twice is a public enemy in the eyes of the world. Rather, it's disgusting that the Japanese community is too lenient. Very true. And I'll leave you guys at that one for this one. A small little thing, Hollow Justice, for their monetization stream. This is their first time being monetized. They've already made a million yen, which is like over $10,000. They've made $10,000 minimum, each one of them. And Cecilia made something like 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars and so did freaking uh so did Raora. Holy crap, they already made a ton. And remember, Hollow Live does do the same thing that Niti Sanji does is YouTube will take 30% of that cut. Then of that cut, 50% will go to the livers and 50% will go to the organization. A lot of organizations do that. The smaller ones don't, but the larger ones, it is an accepted norm. But here's the big difference. Remember, Hollow Live has a base salary for each and every one of their talents. So whether they made money or not during the Super Chats, they would still get a base salary every month for what they do or bi-weekly or whatever thing it is, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever it ends up being for them, they would get a base salary. Not going to be huge, not going to be worth, worth like 80, 90K, but it is enough to keep them afloat while they're trying to get their bearings. But luckily, they did really well. Monetization celebration was justified for Hololive Cecilia, I guess, hand reveal in the art book was a good strategy. What in the world? 64, 6.4 million yen. That's 40,000 USD. Holy moly. Why did Niji give up on EN Market again? So much untapped potential. There's also Arkura Sanji should have already known why. They fumbled the bag big time and trying to pick up what they lost. Too much is a hassle. It's too much of a hassle and they already dipped. And on the other hand, Hollow Life has been doing everything in their power with Hollow Life Dodgers Night, uh, you know, things at Anime Expo, other things to try to make their talents Japanese and English all the same in, in power and in gravitas that they have, which you gotta love. So I'm surprised that Liz was the one that got less. Granted, CC and Raara did their gimmicks, so I guess that helped. Monetization opened for all the girls at the same time, just as Liz began streaming. CC and Raora were getting supers well before their streams even began. So that was a the difference. They were getting it in their waiting rooms while she was getting it during her stream. So and they opened up right before the stream. So, you know, time wise, that ends up being an issue. Also, popularity wise, not saying that one is less than the other, but some are going to be more popular than the other just because of gimmicks they do, voices they do, um, any kind of, you know, people that like certain accents, that type of thing. Moving on to other VTuber news. We have Parrot, who is a big name in basically 4chan post things, uh, videos. We have them who are 
actually they worked with Honkai Star Rail and Game Influencer refused to pay me the two thousand dollars. That's two thousand US dollars, and he's in Colombia, so two thousand US dollars goes a long way in Colombia. They owe me for a fulfilled sponsorship deal due to the following transgressions in my video: Family Guy Chinese drawing meme on Vox, Bing Chilling Chinese meme with Vox, Social Credit meme with Vox, mentioning Taiwan. Not kidding, I only read the word Taiwan. A friend reading Feel That Beard on my P. Uh, mentioning Billy Billy News, mentioning Niji members mixing alcohol with ASAP. If I can't keep my dank memes and being able to acknowledge the existence of Taiwan, then you guys can keep the 2K. I am good. These are all the things that um, they were marked for, supposedly. These are all the things that uh, they said, mixing ASAP with, uh, with everything, the Taiwan mentioning, all that kind of stuff. It is BS. It is basically a West Taiwan issue. Like West Taiwan, you know, we call it, we call it West Taiwan. It's China, but we call it West Taiwan. Paradise Colombian, uh, British Columbia, District of Columbia, country is Colombia. Uh, it was kind of doing expected of following MiHoYo. Of course, MiHoYo does that. It's a Chinese company, and all those memes are pretty much slandering China in some way or another. So I'm mentioning Taiwan. How a can get it sorted out. To be honest, I'm not expecting MiHoYo to pay him at all no matter how much he tries because they all have their specific uh, content creator regulations. Although it seems like they didn't actually give him any insight onto what he could and couldn't say. If if they had told him, just don't say anything against China, don't have any Chinese memes, then maybe they could have, you know, maybe he would have avoided it. Maybe would have avoided the, the sponsorship overall. You know, things like that wouldn't have been an issue. But when you don't put restrictions on what can be said and then you get angry after the fact that things were said, that makes you a s a S tier bad company, black company. Like you're you're not even just a black company, you're S tier black company. Here we have Shy Lily talking about the importance of Hololife and what they've done for the community. The reason why she doesn't mention Niti Sanji, because Niti Sanji also had a lot for the English community. Niti Sanji tended to have a little bit more negative stuff in the English community, in my opinion. So that's why it's not mentioned. Uh, it says this is why Hololive is so important and healthy for the VTuber community. They have paved the paths of so many, including me. I absolutely love Hololive, man. Uh, how life Dodgers Gargura see and take me out to the ball game. That's something you wouldn't see 10 years ago or you wouldn't see at the beginning of VTubing. But Hollow Life is pushing the boundaries of what VTubing can do in the sense of collabing, getting out there in the normie space, quote unquote normie space, all that type of stuff. I live in as a spearhead of VTubers. Granted, many haters or trolls on the normies Twitter uh, brain creatures will attack the movement, but the cultural victory will be achieved in slow but sure pattern. Also, spamming concert is quite good for cultural victory in the late game. Respect plus 10,000 for Shy Lily, or 100,000 in this case. Honestly, respect VTubers like her that talk about the success of the companies. Like, yeah, it's good for everyone when you've got trailblazers making space for people coming later. Like, it's thanks to Hololive that I can even do this. True. Because if Hololive and Nidhi Sanji hadn't paved the way for VTubers as large corporations that they are, I would not be here. Mainly Hololive, because Hololive has made EN so popular around everywhere. Just in general, Shy Lily always has well thought out, well phrased takes on issues in the VTuber sphere. When she talks about the VTuber community as a whole, like she does here, it's probably good to listen. Very true. A very positive story that I do want to cover is something that happened day four. Look at this. These are each one of the small ones, I believe is five bucks. Each one of the big ones is $50. People gave a lot of money to this Doki Bird's tomato farm proceeds going to the Canada Food Bank. As I've mentioned, it is something near and dear to my heart. Not necessarily the Canada Food Bank, but you know, other food banks in my area have helped me out in really deep times, deep dark times. And I have had recently to go to there because, uh, you know, lack of money for food. They at least help you feel like you matter and help you feel like uh, you can at least eat something even when you are down in the dumps. Mostly final status of the tomato farm. There's been about an hour left for the con, but I left early to avoid the crowd. Unfortunately, too busy to catch day three status. Attached are pictures of day two and day one for reference. The tomato army has blotted out the field. Little empty spaces left. Not shown tomatoes uh, got their owners of new adventures. Small tomatoes, five bucks. Large one is 50 bucks. And they come with a small army of 10 tomatoes. All proceeds go to Canada Food Bank. All of them do. So this is a good thing. This is one thing I wanted to mention. There are good people out there. There are good, good hearts out there. That was from day one, day two, and day three. So there are always good people out there. Uh, day three and four. And of course, give to a food bank when you have the chance, whether it be donating actual food or donating, you know, a dollar here and there, they're going to appreciate it. And the people who get support by them and get food by them when they're really down in the dumps will appreciate it as well. This is a bit of a meme. The uh, only thing that sold out was a darn uh, light stick. That was it. 
everything else was not sold out. I think it's kind of expected when it comes to most merch that EGN does. If they would have done the concert, they probably would have sold out all of their light sticks. They probably would have sold out, you know, like they did, but they would have sold out, you know, some of the other specific merch for that. It doesn't necessarily mean people didn't buy it, but it's hilarious to see that when they expected everything to be sold, it wasn't. It's just, that's how bad they are. One item sold out are the, M are the MFing light sticks, which they probably used for Fuomoko's party. Uh, I sold out because of characters of Hollow Booth. That would be hilarious. You know, it would be. But I wouldn't put it past them for that to happen. For today's showcase on Salve's VTuber Corner, we have Nanami Suzuki. She is a full-time VTuber that has started out on uh, TikTok, as you can see here. And they are a tuber. They started and pretty much have only been doing TikTok from what I'm able to see here. They are a fox demon, or as Japanese culture would portray them, a kitsune, singer with a bubbly personality. They do music, gaming, and chatting. Do not currently have a stream schedule because they just started doing this stuff. They're trying to figure out everything, which I can fully understand. You're trying to figure out where you fit, trying to figure out what schedule would be best for you. Uh, they enjoy the opportunity to be their self and show off creativity and complete anonymity. That's what they like about being a VTuber. They would love to do collabs with anybody willing to do collabs, of course. They have no real huge projects, just continuing to do their uh, creative stuff. When I actually start to perform live on stage like Miku, uh, they have a ton of things out there. But of, of course, they are enjoying their VTuber journey. And let me show you a little bit of what they are known for over here on this one for bees. These this right here? Saving them. Yeah. These are there. And, if, and, and what you're doing is actually saving them and helping them make better homes. Right. Let me see if I can get a good view over here. There's this right here. This is a bee farmer um, in the city of Flint, Michigan. These are his bees right here working on taking care of the young. If I can get a tiny bit close, I might be able, I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to disturb the bees because they're behind this glass piece right here. So yeah, they're doing things like this. This was them visiting a bee farmer and, uh, you know, kind of giving you little glimpses and things like that. Of course, some of the other stuff, it is a little bit more lewd. So I do not put that as, because it's not everybody's cup of tea. But this type of stuff, they do these types of things. They do covers, music covers. You can take a look at them. Thank you so, so much. I will put the TikTok link below, of course. And thank you so, so much, of course, against Nanami Suzuki for being here and being a part of this VTuber showcase. And I hope you all enjoy her content all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you